Rubbin with Cold Moo. On today's episode, we have three different alcoholic beverages. Uh, my other arm. A one armed wero. <laughs> yeah, seriously. One. <laughs> and a loafy who's wearing the same shirt as me. Who wore it better? Loafy. I Let wore it blue, my Let us know in the comments. Alright, so today, <laughs> the items we have Henry's uh, alcoholic orange soda. We got best damn root beer, which is we'll another see. alcoholic root beer. We'll gonna, see. We'll see which one's the if it's best. And we also have a special item brought to us by Mr. Lofi. Yes. Why don't you tell us about it? Uh, Jonathan and Laura Strickland both brought me this beer from Canada. And uh, I'm very grateful. They, they, they go through a lot of trouble to get this very specific beer. And it is something extraordinarily special. Let's start with uh, the orange soda. It's pretty light. Now, full disclosure... Uh, me and Wero could not hold off on trying some of this, because... <laughs> fucking orange soda, man. It's delicious. Oh, boy. It smells nice. Cheers. Cheers. I need to hire somebody to itch my armpit. Now, this is a 4.2%. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit low on the ABV, but honestly, it tastes a lot like just orange soda. It tastes more like uh, an orange slice candy than an orange soda. Mm. It, it definitely tastes a little less sugary and a lot more orangey. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's got a citrusy punch in there that's a little bit higher than most orange sodas, I would say. This is a dangerous item because it's <laughs> so absolutely drinkable. Like, you could just crush these these things. Like, uh, you can barely tell. Like orange crash? Ah! Uh, <laughs> you can barely tell there's fucking alcohol in these. And 4.2, I mean, it's a little bit low, but considering how easy this is to drink, you, this can end your night pretty quick. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can suck down a six-pack of these real quick and then have a terrible headache yeah, the next and then, morning. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, what, what did I do? I thought this was America! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I got addicted to this stuff. I'd drink like a 12-pack of orange soda like and play Mortal Kombat 2 oh, hell yeah. you know, over a weekend and drink that whole fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> this this reminds me of those good old days. Um, but mm -hmm. uh, probably a little less less of the diabetes. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I guess if you if you drink like a 12-pack or something, you'd probably be in trouble. But yeah. Yeah, just in moderation, folks. Everything yeah. in moderation. Yeah. I'd be interested to see what the calories are on one of these, but... Just going by flavor and a how lot. easy to drink, man. This, this is easily like an eight for me. Uh, definitely, I'd give this an eight. Yeah, I'd say an eight too. Like it, it definitely eight also or eight point two. Oh snap, eight point two. Wow. Mm. Oh, good job, whoa. good job. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, for me. let's move on to the best damn root beer. I think that they kind of overstepped when they named this one. I'm gonna yeah. go out on the limb and say that. Yeah. yeah, seriously. What are you trying to pull, huh? So the whole root beer beer <coughs> is getting more popular than it deserves, I think. <laughs> like, yes. once Not Your Fathers came out and that uh -huh. sort of exploded now, like, everybody's diving into that whole market. Yeah. There's, like... They're there's gonna be... under the shallow end, too, yeah. most of the time. There's gonna be it. a Bud Light version of this in, like, Within the next year, I guarantee Shut it. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I like the smell of it so far. So let's see here. Uh, it smells nice. That burp didn't. Hmm. It's, it's definitely, it's it's lacking in any of the strength. It tastes watery, you guys. Yeah. I'm getting sort of a pungent like sassafras. <clears throat> I do like that. It's a little bitter. A little bit more bitter than the other ones, which sort of dries it out. It's so you don't taste all the sugar. Definitely better than the Coney. It's better than the Coney. I still don't like the Night Your Fathers. But Night Your Fathers is like that thing. Like just bam, root beer. Like it says root beer yeah. immediately. I guess I, I always associate like that nice carbonated punch that you get from like Bark's root beer mm -hmm. and stuff with root beer. So yeah. like, yeah. if it doesn't have that sharpness to it, then it's just eh. yeah. This yeah. one does fall a bit flat. It's Sort of like the uh, dad's root beer yeah. or whatever. So not your father's to me tastes like they mixed ingredients that add up to root beer. This yeah. to me tastes like there was an extract called root beer on the side of it that they yeah. used to flavor it. Still not terrible though. Like, it's not terrible. They're not going to go to waste, that's for sure. No, no, I'll be happy drinking them. And, and yeah. I do have to say it is a little bit less sweet than the other two have been. So if if you're looking for a drier one, maybe this one's up your alley. I would give it a six. Six also. <laughs> A change of pace, but it's not the best. I, I'd say six is a fair rating. Let's see what this magic beer is all about. 
Yeah, guys. It just says winter ale. So imagine every other winter ale you've ever had, and then we're going to see what you think of this. Generally, most winter ales I can't remember having. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, you guys. They are so forgettable. Like, every ale you've ever had is like, oh, this is a winter ale? This is a summer ale? <laughs> oh, you, all right. Are you still ale, isn't it? Yeah, still yeah, yeah, caps. Yeah, winter ale. 5.5% uh, ABV. Did I see something on there that said it was a ruby? Granville Island Brewing. Ooh, smells like pecans. And brownies. Oh, wow. Yeah, that smells <laughs> a lot like brownie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Holy shit. It's got a lot of flavor going on in there. Yeah. It's like a nut brown ale with chocolate mixed inside of it. Yeah. It almost tastes like... I'm not going to say like a banana bread or something, but something like a sweet, you know, bread. It, it, it definitely finishes off uh, like the... Uh, the Sam Smith chocolate stout. It's got that kind yeah, of yeah. sweet chocolate flavor to it. That's interesting. Yeah. Like I said, it's like, if I was to compare this to, like, uh, any other regular, like, domestic or something, it's like, I, I have no words. You, you have stumped me. This is not, like, even a beer. This is just, like, an amazing chocolate soda that's alcoholic, you know? Yeah. It's got a lot of robust, dark, smoky flavors. It's just, like... It blows my mind. It really does. It's honestly not that beer y. It actually goes no. really well with the other two sodas. Exactly. That we've had. Good pairing, mm. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Very like that chocolate. It's it's not quite milk chocolate and it's not quite like the roasted green sort of chocolate. It's somewhere in between where it actually tastes like Reminds brownies. Of, uh, <laughs> it says white carrot. chocolate, I mm. think, is supposed to be one of the uh, one of the flavors. So it's like, hey, that's an interesting thing to try to include to, into a beer. I don't know. It's a little bit too much of the like this desserty flavor. Yeah, I that you could probably you probably couldn't drink more than a couple. But like, yeah. uh, if you just for one to, to have as like a tasting, it's great. Like, that's a very unique flavor. Like you're saying, mm -hmm. that keeps uh. coming out of this beer. So yeah, ooh, mm. ooh, chocolate orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was good. And yeah, they probably actually do go together pretty yeah. well. Lion's Winter Ale. I would probably give that a 7.6. I was going to go 6.5. Mm -hmm. 6.5. Mm -hmm. I give it 8.5 for originality. Like, there is nothing else like this. Wow. At least not in my estimation. Oh, yeah, don't do that. I dig it. Yeah, pretty so, good. So, I give it like a 8. Yeah, that's a good assortment of stuff here. Like, I, I was prepared to be much more disappointed in the best damn root beer here. Yeah. Especially with that bold claim of a name. I still don't think yeah. it's correct, but yeah. you're heading there yeah. towards that direction. You just can't drop the gauntlet like that and expect no. us to approve. No, no. Fuck you. No. The world's best? You better live up to that shit. No, it doesn't say world's best. It just says best damn. Best damn? So this could just be the best damn root beer from, like, North Kakalaki or something. Uh-huh. They're just not specifying where from. Best damn root beer within <clears throat> three city blocks. <laughs> no. It is the only root beer we have in this room, so ah. by definition, it is the best damn root beer. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say that the winner here is this orange soda, because I love orange soda. It just gets you drunk. Oh. Yes. Made with cane sugar. It's oh, healthy. That means it's not... Not gonna kill me instantly. That's good. <laughs> It'll take a while to kill me. Yes! Boom! Uh -huh. Alright. This has been Grubbin' with Cult Moo. Please like, share, subscribe, check out Lofi's channel, check out her vlog channel, uh, buy her shirts and merch, and watch Lofi on Twitch. Yeah, I'm on Twitch, Twitch now. All the goddamn time. Oh, yeah, what's <laughs> Lofi's channel? Uh, let me think about that. <laughs> it probably doesn't have loafy molasses in it. No, not don't at even, all. Don't even try to like look for it. No. It'll come to you. <laughs> It'll come to you as if in a dream. Bob Dole! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's get him a pen. <laughs> Let's get him a pen for this hand. Oh, so it's my, my beer's my pen. <laughs>